hi hello everyone so in this video we are going to see uh, how to make uh, system airlock generator and a driver so basically we are going to first have a transaction block in after the transaction block there will be a generator from the generator it will go to a driver and I am not going to connect interface in this video and I am not connect, going to connect interface with DUT in this video the scope of this video is beyond that but in the next series like in the next video we will be posting how to connect the driver and interface and uh, interface and DUT so uh, hope uh, I guess this will be clear guys let's uh, jump into the topic and uh, Hopefully I'm not going to teach you how to create a class and what is the structure of the class though I will try to explain you uh, whenever I am trying to write some logics uh, but uh, I'm not going into deep into the things which I am going to write if you want anything in specific please mention below in the comment I'll be making a separate video on that so basically we need uh, as I told you we are going to create a generator and a driver we need uh, two class for generator and driver and before that I am just going to make a sequencer so I am writing seek um, for class and I am ending the class so inside it I am going to um, write statements like logic uh, let's keep 7 down to 0 a and uh, this should be randomized so I am writing rand uh, I'll explain you in few minutes later but uh, right now I'm just writing it in rand so logic seven down to zero p and then logic uh, eight down to zero out so yeah so this is our sequencer class and then next class what we are going to make is class generator rate in class and then another class what we need is class driver so in class and then we need module tv like module test bench in module so these are all the class and the modules we need so let's create the generator and the driver so in generator basically uh, we need this sequence class because we are going to uh, generate a randomized value of this sequence so this generator is like we'll be typing Sorry guys. Um, sequence s equal to new. This is we allocating memory, and uh, we need a mailbox in order to transfer the data which is being in the generator class. And if you want to send the data uh, to a driver, we need the mailbox. So we are using mailbox as MBX, and this is a common syntax for now just remember in this way whenever you are using a mailbox you need to mention function new and mailbox like whatever the name you gave here like mailbox mbx and uh, then you will be writing this dot mbx equal to mbx and then end function we start the function so we are ending it and then in the generator class what we are going to basically do is we are going to uh, randomize this sequencer values so we are going to make a task uh, i'm just writing it as run task run and in that as i start the task i'm ending the task and inside it i'm going to make a for loop for it for int i equal to zero i less than n I less than 10 I plus plus so I am beginning this and ending this for loop so inside this for loop what I am going to do is I had a sequence called s so s dot randomize um, like 
just now I'll explain this. So if you write this keyword rand, then you can randomize the values. If you are not using this, then it won't be randomized. There are two things. One is called rand and another is called rand C. And uh, like I'll I'll try to make a separate video on what is rand and rand C. So for now, I I hope I am clear as of now. Like whenever you are using rand at the top, you can use randomize. So it will generate a randomized value and it will give for, give you. So we'll see that in some time uh, when we are checking the results. So after this, you will be putting the data. Um, using the mailbox into this yes like you randomized it and you put into the mailbox so after you are putting it uh, just for our use case i am displaying it dollar display the this is generator right so i am like mentioning generator zero d and this is a comma b and okay so when i'm using this uh, a and b this is coming from sequence so i had a handler over here uh, for the class uh, sequence so when i are i am calling a data member in the sequence class i need to be writing with uh, a handler name so s dot a and s dot b so we are going to display this over here and then you need to have some time delay so i am just mentioning a time delay of 10 so that's it class next what we are going to do is we are going to uh, write the driver class so in driver class these same things we need even down there so I'm just copy pasting this and, and actually you don't need to allocate memory here because like uh, already you allocated a memory over there so you don't need here technically and uh, here so then what we are going to do is uh, like again you are going to make a task here task run and in this I am going to make a for loop in order to get the data whichever is being transferred from the um, generator we need to have the same amount of for loop uh, with the same time gap so it will get it you can instead use some event uh, or like you can use forever begin instead of for loop but uh, for my use case I'm using a for loop um, so then you will be like getting it mbx dot get saying yes and uh, after getting what I'm going to do is like I am going to uh, s dot c like sorry s start out equal to s start a plus s start b so what is happening over here is like we uh, we created a class first class in where we just uh, write the data like we just uh, declared the variables and over here we are randomizing the variables and here uh, the variable which has been sent from the generator to the driver we are getting the variable and we are uh, seeing the output what it is being uh, coming over here so I am just using copy and pasting over here and instead of generator I will be writing driver instead of a it will be out So here it will be s dot out. So yeah, that's it. 
and even here you need to give the same uh, time delay so I'm giving a 10 over here and uh, yeah pretty much that's all so inside here now we need to write in the module TB in module TB we need to have three handlers for each class like first we need for a mailbox MBX and uh, this is equal to new and then I need to have for uh, uh, generator generator gen equal to new and then uh, we are creating a handler for driver as drv and again I am giving as new and yeah so we created the uh, handler for all three and also we give uh, allocated into new and uh, then what we are going to do is uh, we just need to uh, see the task running so here like uh, we need to invoke this run command so initial begin and end so in this what we are going to do is um, this is mbx so uh, gen dot run and uh, drv dot run if i am giving this will run but uh, the one problem over here if i run in this way uh, it it will not create uh, it it will not run parallelly and uh, because like it will be keep on pushing the data into that mailbox but uh, after that if you see uh, if you when in this way if you are running only after completion of this this drive dot run will run so this is not the proper way to run so in order for that we can use a method called like fork and join this thing you can use so if you use a fork and join this will help you to uh, run both these things parallelly so i'm using this fork and join so that's it guys so just to give a gist of it like i just made uh, form a sequence over here like i just declared my variables and then uh, in generator i randomize that variables whatever i declared over there and i'm just displaying in order for you to understand like what's happening there i'm just uh, declaring a and b because somehow uh, this is not um, this is the output so it's not going to randomize it anyway and uh, the the last part what i was trying to do is like in the driver class i uh, uh, i received the data which has been sent through mailbox from the generator and uh, i added the data over here like s.a and s.b and i'm uh, displaying the output for you and um, here i used a fork and join because like uh, this both need to run parallelly so i'm using this fork and join method so let me run this oh okay so this is a EDA simulator like mm, you need to select some um, thing over here so I am selecting it and I am running this let me see okay I made few not quite a more mistakes let's see what is there and yeah so some mistakes in line warning error in line number 12 okay I should have been put this in small I used everywhere small and uh, Let me run one second. Okay, so it gives an error for uh, for line number forty seven, fifty, fifty one, and fifty two. Uh, let me see forty seven. Oh, okay, so. The mistake what I did here is like I should have used end task over here. So 
uh, this i will do every time like please follow the thing even i make a mistake over here like whenever you type a class type end class at that time itself whenever you write a function write end function at that time itself otherwise you might uh, face these kind of issues so let me run once again yeah so this errors are at 52 and 53 uh, what error is unspecified argument is used for argument that does not have default mdx so okay uh, oh okay so this error is uh, why we are facing this error this issue is like uh, i should have given this uh, mbx over here because in generator and driver class i used a constructor over here and i gave mailbox mbx or something which i gave inside that new function but here i forgot to give that argument i forgot to pass that argument inside this so this is giving that error so once if we resolve that let's run one last time <laughs> hopefully this time it will be running we'll see so yeah so you can now see guys like uh, in the generator it has been transferring the value a and b as uh, 143 and 9 which will be addition of 152 and that we are getting in that uh, displaying in the driver class and the same in generator also so similarly uh, at 10 instances the 10 value has been read so that's it guys so i hope you will un you you might have understand what is uh, sequence generator driver and uh, uh, TB how to use that in TB and uh, like um, in in some time like we'll be going into much more uh, tougher codes like we'll be implementing FIFO and other stuffs but uh, I, I I feel this is good for the first video and we'll continue with this video streak thank you guys do uh, subscribe if you like the video and if you want to know more about the system log and test benches uh, thank you bye